tonight we have, you guys know her from last week's episode, but now I'm going to fully introduce you as the fourth loser of the 38th season. season of Survivor Lord O'Connell. Welcome to Land of Lake. I'm baby. so excited to be here. I'm so excited to have you on the show yes. officially. Officially, um, yes. After last week got weird and we ate some taco hell. And it was, um, but man, I've never been more impressed with your fire making ability ever. From my Survivor fans, I would take her in the Final Four fire making challenge all day, every day. Oh my god. Yep. Oh my god, I lit a fucking fire! Woo! I. <laughs> Honestly, I was shocked that the fire started that fast, and I didn't know that that was, well, no, actually, in reality, I did not. I thought that was like the normal time that it took to Absolutely. start a fire. Absolutely not. No, I so, was so <laughs> impressed with you, your ability to strike that flint baby. I know, light it up. I know, light it up. Getting litty for 2020. Um, yeah, so I'm basically a fire starter. You really and are. It. No, I, um, what I did learn from that, though, is that I would probably die in the wilderness unless I had a flint, which, like, why would someone have that on a whim? They just wouldn't. That would be something you'd have to know to bring. So Absolutely. Without the fire, I would definitely starve to death. Coconuts are not my not thing. Anyway. Also, not filling. Didn't have. It would just be bad. So, anywho, glad you're on the show. I cannot so excited wait. to be here. I want to hear like all the juice, all the behind the scenes of Survivor. Is it real? Is it fake? Because nowadays everything is literally fake yeah. on TV. I think, I mean, that is the number one question I get from everyone. Yeah. Everyone says, is it real? Is it real? And I think it's because we're so used to like The Bachelor and we're so Which used is so to fake. And so Peter fake. is so boring. <laughs> oh my God, Peter. Just do, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I think it in. This is not about Peter. Not about Peter. No, but it, I think we I are know. so used to these rea reality shows <laughs> being so fake. And I think that's why I personally am so drawn to Survivor. And I think that's why it has such a solid fan base. Yeah. Know, the 40th season is airing now. Yeah. Is because it is so real. And what happens on the show is so real and so authentic. Yeah. I mean, I lost I lost 12 pounds. Well, there you life. go. What else do you need in life, you guys? Want to lose weight? Go in Survivor. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but... No, it is. I think that's just like a testament to how real it is. Yeah. Because there were, I mean, I didn't eat for seven days. Truly did not have one bite of food. Only was drinking water. My tribe mates probably hated me because all I did was complain. But it's like, well, yeah, it was awful. Um, but it is one of those things where you really don't eat. You really do not have porta potties. You do not have toilet paper. You don't have a toothbrush. You don't have what I think people think you have. And well, yeah, because in my mind, it's like, you know, the producers behind the scenes yeah. are like, do you want a pop tart? And you're like, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. We don't want you to be hangry, but no, yeah. like, you really are truly surviving out there. You jump off of the boat. So on my scene, we jumped off the boat. Mm -hmm. We got to throw all these like fruits and nonsense into the water. We get the, we get that, we get to our island. And when you get on the island, it's barren. I mean, yeah. there is nothing there except a tribe flag. And then you have like a yeah, cast were, iron. Sorry, go ahead. No, you were saying there was no, like, cause we were like, can you catch fish? Can you catch yeah. animals? Can you catch like whatever? And you're like, no, cause there isn't any on the island. There's fish. Well, if yeah. you can go up, if you, first, if you have fishing gear. Yeah. A lot of times that's something that you have to win in a challenge. And then also the amount of energy that you have to expend in order to catch the fish is sometimes just not worth it because you're burning all these calories yeah. to catch a fish that's this big yeah. that you have to share with 10 people. Um, mm -hmm. So why are you doing that? You know, it's like, it's not always worth it. Yeah. So you get on the island, all you have is a cast iron skillet. All you have is a bag of uncooked rice that you have to portion for 39 days. And I mean, some people... I think you're eating maybe yeah. two of these a day of yeah. rice, filled with cooked rice. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe. And I think it comes out to like maybe 150 calories. Mm. And I'm feeling sad. I know. <laughs> I'm feeling I'm feeling very sad for your experience. And I feel like I should do a shot for oh. you in honor of that really sad that experience cool. that you had to overcome. I knew that that was coming. This whole time we've been hanging out, I thought you were like joking. You're like, I never drink. I was like, oh yeah, me neither. No, I really don't. Okay, well now I, I do feel bad, um, but I'm still gonna make you just do a little bit. Are and we gonna share it? Um, or are you just gonna give it to me? With the props? Yeah. Oh, you can have it by yourself, baby. Yeah. I'll let you have you it. You are a giver. I know. Okay, all right, so, I'm here. I'm here for it, all right. All Hold right. On. This is going to be hard, though. No, I'm not this much of a, like, champ with the tequila, but here we go. Cheers, Cheers to surviving on an island. Surviving on an island and coming in fourth loser. Fifth. Fifth loser. <laughs> seventh. The first loser. The 17th loser. Here we go. Uh-huh. 
So, I heard there was a time that you passed out. There was. Just conked the out. I really what did. happened with that? So, to give some like reference to why it happened, yeah. this was day 20. Besides the fact that you don't eat for seven days and they give you like, you know, um, I don't know, nothing. Maybe I did preface it already. Yeah. I think Point being, it. it was really hot. I hadn't had any water really that day because that was dumb. Um, and yeah, I wasn't eating. So, yep, that sums it up. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm up on this, you know, perch and all of a sudden I just kind of feel like I'm going to pass out. And I just remember thinking I can win this challenge. Yeah. Like, I can win this. This, this was built for me. Like I've been running on my toes since I was five years old. My calves are massive. She's a soccer, she played soccer in, in college. I did. Has broken her nose three times. Fun facts. Also really has messed up her knees a few times too. Couple times, I've got plenty of scars to show for that. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was one of those things where I was like, I can win. It made who you are. It is, yeah. it did. Scars to your beautiful, is that the song? Your scars to your beautiful. Yep. I'm actually not aware of that song, but I will sing it with you all day. Thank you, baby. So you were on a perch. Yeah, and I just remember thinking, I can win this, I can win this, and I just got, I got really dizzy, kind of. Mm -hmm. I'm about to black out. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Medical. Oh my god. Because you're standing up there and you're trying to, first of all, you're trying to balance. Like, yeah. your perch is not big. Yeah. It's enough for you to be on your tiptoes. And then on top of that, you've got something on your head, yes. balanced on the perch on the top, and it's just all these different factors playing into yeah. the fact that I was very dizzy, and I just hoped and prayed that I was going to pass out after the other girls had stepped down, mm -hmm. because there were three girls left. Um, that's not what happened. I ended up falling, and you know, I don't, I look back on it, and I think I absolutely would not have changed a thing, because yeah. had I been able to do it again, I probably would have just hoped I'd passed out later on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I think Survivor and why it's so fun, <laughs> why it's so fun, and why for me I kind of label it as like addicting, mm -hmm. is because it's this competitive game that you cannot simulate any other way. Yeah. They strip you of everything. You really are pushed to your core. Yeah. And they ask you like, how much are you willing to get for this game? And for me, it was like, I would do anything to win. Yeah. Like, I'm so competitive, and to be in that environment with other people where it's like. You really don't have anything. You yeah. don't have anything. It's just who you are inside. And for me, a lot of it I've said to everyone I can think of is there's no way I could have done it without my faith. Yeah. And I think it's just a way for me to see like, what's inside of me and like yeah. how I lean on my faith. And now it's a really great outlet to show people like I don't know how people do it without Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Truly. Especially being on an island, not having any I mean, you're away from your family. Mm -hmm. You are, like you said, stripped of everything, food. Um, almost closed, but you were in that hot red bikini though. Hey, <laughs> they actually give you bathing suits. That was for my press photo. Uh, I was in a bra and underwear, so even worse. Oh, perfect. Well, you know what's okay? That's a, another tangent. Cause I'm always like, I feel weird and more exposed in a bra and underwear, but in a, like a string bikini, I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Why is that? That's I I don't know. I mean, even just you telling me that you didn't eat for seven days, I think like, <laughs> as I get, I turn into a, the Snickers commercial. That is an actual, that's actual footage of me as a human being in real life. And I will say this to anyone that ever asks me, if you knew me before I went on Survivor, mm -hmm. there was a Baylor soccer sleepover in our locker room. Oh. I brought a air mattress. Yeah, you do. Okay. Okay. I sleep with seven pillows. Okay. I cannot fall asleep without a fan. Oh. Okay. I really like to get my nails done. Yeah. Um, and so when I told people I wanted to be on it, even my family was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But you know, it came at you literally and went so far, but I say this again and it's like, I think when you are pushed to your limit and you really are like, mm -hmm. okay, what do I have in me? Mm -hmm. People are capable of so much more than they could ever imagine. So yeah. I know that you say that you think that you would die out there. I do not believe that. I think that you have an incredible heart. I think that you have an amazing like support system. Okay. And I think that you are stronger than you could ever imagine. And that's why I tell people, like, yeah. if you want to apply, apply. Yeah. Because I promise you when you get out there, it's so hard. It is the hardest thing I've ever done. But it is also the most incredible thing I've ever done. Survivor was the single best thing to ever happen to me. Wow. And... Truly, and I truly believe that. And it's not because it was on TV. It's not because of all the things that come with it. It's just because of the emotional and mental uh, gains I got from that. Yeah. Like, I hate saying gains, but it really is. It was yeah. like this emotional um, rejuvenation of like, hey, I can do this. Like, yeah. I can be this confident female that can be compassionate and 
also strong, you know? Yeah, we killed it in our little survivor thing, so. You really did. I, I would want you on my tribe. I really am, like, I say this in the deepest, deepest parts of my soul. I am so impressed. <laughs> So impressed. Oh my god. Yes. No, that's really I nice. mean, I I will say that I do like to um, assume in my head that if there were a zombie apocalypse that I would fucking crush that. So, and my weapon of choice would be a sword. <laughs> a because, sword? Because it's not loud. And did you watch Walking Dead? No. Michonne? I should. She had a sword. That's and brilliant. literally would just chop off like six zombie heads yeah. at one time. Okay. I was like, she is a badass. I feel like I could totally like wave a machete around. I totally I, machete. I can work a machete. Okay, okay, then you take a machete, I'll take the sword. And we'll okay. just crush okay. the You're zombie apocalypse, baby. Baby girl. All right, so love that. Lastly. Yes. Before the game. Before the game. We... We as in like we, because I feel like I'm in this with you. You are in this with me. We're in this everything together, baby. Um, it goes forever. You are starting a YouTube channel. I am. And yes. it is. Tell me all about it. Okay, really so excited. it's called Life with Lolly. Yes. And it's just, first of all, it started out because I was like, okay, on Survivor, you really only got to see this one dimensional side of me. Yeah. But um, I'm really excited to get to show different aspects of my life, like fitness and just like my everyday, like traveling and my family and yeah. things that are important to me. But also, really, how it's, how it originated was I have a little sister. She's 12 years old. She's about to be 13. And I was thinking about, like, what would I tell myself when I was 12 years old? Yeah. And I learned this from Kelly Wentworth. She was on my season. I adore her. I think people think, like, I'm actually obsessed with her, and they are right. Yeah. Because she really just taught me, and things that I would want to tell my 12-year-old self, yeah. is that it's okay for girls and females and women to be absolutely everything. They don't have to fit into one box. They can be compassionate and strong, like I said before. They can be loud and they can be humble. They can be kind and they can also be opinionated. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's really important to show young girls, which is really kind of the demographic I'm, I'm shooting for, is that, hey, like, it's okay to not have everything together. Mm -hmm. It's okay to love a certain show and not be afraid of it. It's okay to, you know, post an ab picture during a workout. It's okay right. to, like, Really just love yourself and who God created because you are so perfectly and wonderfully made in his image mm -hmm. And I want younger girls to see that through my YouTube channel and yeah. be like hey Like she was someone that I saw on Survivor yeah. or she, I never saw her on Survivor But I love this idea that females and women, you know, what, and men too, everyone Yeah, everyone can be more than just the, a box maybe that society tries to put them in Let's play a game Let's do it That's like, ugh, love that um, we keep, we like, we talk about Shit's Creek a lot because we love Shit's Creek. And I feel like that's what happened. Like, I love that. I love that for us. I love that journey like, for you, baby. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, we're just like, what's that? Um, Alexa. Okay, Mora's, Moira's, like, weird. Alexa. 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 <laughs> Wait, what's her name? David, not what David. Wait, no. what's her, what's her song? It's like, well, I drive my car. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm a Lamborghini. I'm a Hollywood star. star. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a little, little bit, bit tipsy. tipsy. No, no, I'm a little bit single, even when I'm not. When I'm <laughs> I'm a little bit single. Even, Even when I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, game time, baby. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so I'm competitive. so excited. I'm not competitive, but I'm going to win this round because, like, I'm going to turn it on for you. I'm really scared because I'm looking at your questions, and yeah. I really hope I aren't that hard. I hope they are. And also, there's a million dollars in the line, so just... No, well, I can't be the fourth loser. I can only get second. I That's love that true. for me. I love that for you. I love that for you, too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> perfect. So this is called four for ten. We each have four different questions for each other and then ten seconds to answer it. A million dollars on the line. I'm going to go first because I want to. <laughs> I mean, this is your show, and I'm just living in it. That's right, baby. Just kidding. Um, this is all about you. Yeah. All right, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready for this jelly? Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, wait. I'm gonna tell first. Okay. Yeah. Breathe. Let that oxygen flow through your body. All right. You are a winner. Yes, you Self are. Self affirmation. Yes. Self affirmation. I'm so ready. Name four cities in Australia. Are you kidding me? I am not. My God. I think <laughs> I know that everyone's laughing right now about geography. Melbourne. Um. Oh god, um, Australia. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I really hope <laughs> Melbourne, Perth, Sydney. <laughs> Sydney, yeah. Sydney, Sydney. I really, really hope that there are no more geography god. questions because I am no, you're good. so in trouble. You're good. Okay. You're good. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on with that one. But you know what? I'm sorry, I just gonna take a little bit of the um tequila. The whole thing? Or like just a little sip. Just a little sip. 
Because we're already, guys, we might have taken a, a few shots in between the yeah, game and the interview and the game. See, I can't even say it right. So we're going to take this one easy. And we have a dinner reservation after this. So we got to get to that safely. Name four cities that have hosted the Olympics. Go. Uh, Utah. Oh, Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City was in Utah. Um, yeah, Los Angeles. Denver. Nope, that's not one. Um, uh, China's not a city, but there's somewhere in China. Uh, there's somewhere in China. Okay, I don't know. Okay, Berlin. Perfect. Whoever wrote these yards because Russia. it should be fun. Russia. Russia hosted the Olympics. I wonder if the cities and you said China. Yeah, no, I knew China was in a city, but I knew No, that but I respect that China. because I said Australia cities, so. Yeah, so we're on the same page. We're on the Great. Same. Name. Oh, I gotta, oh God, I gotta drink. I'm ready. Ugh. My God, this is so bad. You know, it's like the more you drink, it should be easier to take, but I feel like the more we drink, I'm like, Stop it. <laughs> Don't do it. Stop that. Stop that. Mm. Love that. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Name four breeds of dog. Are you kidding me? German Shepherd, um, Labradoodle, Golden Retriever, and um, Boxer. That's right. She got it. She got it. She's one point. Me. One point. I'm excited for you. I'm like, baby, you're great. a hype girl. I want you to win. Okay. Oh, really? I want me to win, too. I mean, I... Well... Shows that aired prior to 2000. Oh my god, that's hard. Uh, Liz McGuire show. Oh my god, that's no, good. that's not true. Okay. Friends, ER, oh NYPD Blue, and um, Seventh Heaven. Ha! 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 That was so good. I don't, you know, I don't know if any of that's true, but I love that for you. But I have commitment. Yes. So I don't need to think about that. You just have to commit. I, that's, that is, if you got nothing out of the show, it's like God loves you and you gotta commit. They can right. make it, baby. Name four Super Bowl halftime performers. Are you kidding me? J Lo, Shakira, does that count as two? Yeah, I don't know. Um, Justin Timberlake, um, Beyonce, and oh, oh my gosh, she went um, beyond. Oh my gosh, I should know one more. Come on, somebody help me. Uh, Maroon Five. Um, Maroon Five. Adam. I love that. Adam Levine. Levine. Um, Demi Lovato. Yeah, um, Adam, you're done. You're done. But you over. You did great. I could. That was so good. I committed. I shouldn't have to take a shot. Okay, you ready, baby girl? Yes, baby girl. Name four types of clouds. There's the one that's like low. There's the one that's in like me. Like a fat cloud, a skinny cloud, a pretty cloud, and an ugly cloud. Thank you. <gasps> and, the, and the clouds that's like clouds. <laughs> Commitment. Thank you. <laughs> Last but certainly, name four winners of this year's Academy Awards, aka the Oscars. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my gosh, Renee Zilberger. Is that how you say her last name? Last name. Okay. Um. Parasite? I'm just gonna throw that That's one out there. Fine. Okay. Good one. Um, oh, Joaquin Phoenix. Yes! Yes. So good. There's one more. I've got this. Hold on. Oh my god. That no, was, give me that more time. That I watched it, I swear. It's milk from a mother's teat. That you should. Okay, I just, I'm just gonna take this time to really just say, first of all, the fact that I knew any of those, yeah. amazing. For yeah. Me. yeah. Secondly, I want to say that Renee Zellweger, Zellweger. Zellweger yes. was Zell. absolutely incredible she was. in What If. She, Have you seen that season? I show? said that too soon. I've not seen that. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Judy, but I also I haven't, haven't seen, seen Judy. Judy. Also, have you seen Parasite, though? No. Okay, I watched it the other night. So good. Oh. I haven't seen any of the other Wait, movies. really? Yeah, no, it is really good. You have to really pay attention because the whole movie's in Korean. Oh, and you have to really Everyone in the live movie. audience is shaking their head that they loved it. Our live audience is huge. Time. We have 100 people. You guys loved it, too? You loved it! Woo! In the back! Okay! Got it! No, but it actually was very, very, very good. You have to pay attention the whole time. I didn't see any of the other yeah. movies. Yeah. But I just want to say, the fact that I can comment on any of this yes. speaks to my increasing wokeness. Yes. As probably last year I wouldn't have known. So woke. So, okay. So oh, sorry. damn woke. Are we doing this together? <laughs> you want to do it together? You have one more question. How about this? Oh, if, I you do. don't, if you don't get the last question, I have we'll do it together. Question? If not, I'll do it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I love this for you! Name four bones in the human body. <laughs> bones? <laughs> in the body. Your, your leg, arm, hip, and spine. <laughs> so we're going to do shots for so, that. Um, the right bone's connected to the hip bone. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's go with the fibula. The yes. tibula. Tibia. Tibia. Um, the femur. The femur. And let's just go phalanges. 
All right, I'm sorry. Like some of really med school are trying to show I me up right now. I actually don't know if phalanges is a bone. Probably the reason I haven't gotten an interview yet. It's okay though, yeah. because you know what? Females can do whatever they want to do, and females are amazing. And just because something's not going right, just might mean that God has a different timing for you. So we're gonna take this shot now. I'm trying to wean. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. Um, so much good be content from this episode. Cheers, Lana Lena. Late night. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Oh my god. I adore you. I adore, freaking adore you. Lauren, why don't you just plug it all up so everyone can follow you? Love you that. Know, follow your Instagram. Yes. Look into that camera and tell them where they can follow you. Okay, y'all. So you can follow me on Instagram at Lauren with two A's dot Alexandra. And subscribe to my channel, Life with Lolly. I'm so excited for you guys to watch this. Thank you so much for having me. I adore you. I adore the show. I think that. I've told you this before, but I think your heart is amazing, and it's so obvious that you're passionate about this. So I am, I'm lucky to be here. I'm honored to have you on. Love this episode about a little little cray cray at the end. It's totally on brand for Land of Late Night. Are you you know what I mean, you guys? You guys know. Um, every Wednesday, I'll be coming out with a new episode. So stay tuned. 8 p.m. Baby, I love you guys. Have a great week. We're out. We're gonna go get some sushi tonight. Woo! Hey.